Good afternoon, everybody. I'm really excited to see that you decided to jump on our coaching session. My name is Adrian. I'm here with the big man himself, Mr. John Tate. Hey, everybody. And um, we're excited. We're excited because we've been getting a lot of uh, requests and questions on how to utilize the Facebook boosting option, which is a really effective way of getting in front of a larger audience. Uh, Facebook management is, is just one of the many services that we handle for all of our clients to help them you know, increase their visibility, uh, new business opportunities, retention, and all that good stuff. But um, we're gonna dive in and show you why Facebook is, is just so, so powerful. So there's a lot of people using this, this platform. <laughs> think about- um, Everybody's using Facebook. So think about your, your car ride on the way to home uh, or, or to the office or when you're at home watching TV. A lot of people are literally fast forwarding through commercials, they're plugging in their phones into their cars and they're listening to audiobooks, podcasts. So commercials are not as popular as, as they once were, but Facebook is because people are always on this thing. Now, we have a really great strategy when it comes to helping our, our clients get in front of more and more people when it comes to Facebook. And actually, we're able to do it organically so you don't have to, to boost posts and invest. And this is just an example. So what you see on the screen is one of our clients posts and as you can see it's it's not boosted but it was able to reach 4,837 people now what you really want to take a close look at is the 42 shares so what does that mean that means that 42 individuals stumbled across this post and hit that share button 42 people so on the actual agency's page there was only 19 likes, but because all those share buttons or those share options were selected, we're actually able to generate 128 likes for this post. And again, this is with no boosting. This is all organic and it's all about the engagement. So the goal when it comes to Facebook is having people like, share and comment on your posts. Yeah, absolutely. So. I'm sure all of you are here because you're interested in that little blue button down there that's on your, your Facebook posts and wondering what that means. And Facebook's always um, suggesting that we should be doing more promotion and, and these, uh, using this boost option. But, but what's, it really, what's it really do? Well, it, it turns your post in the post that we post for our clients uh, that are listening uh, into basically an ad. Uh, now, I'm not going, I don't want to confuse the, the Facebook ad platform, which is a whole nother beast uh, with Facebook boosting uh, because there, there is a whole lot to the Facebook ad platform. Uh, it's very complex and I don't suggest that you use it if you're planning on just uh, having a limited budget for Facebook, maybe just a hundred dollars, $200 a month or less. Uh, but boosting makes it really easy, and very quick to be able to, basically turn that, uh, turn that Facebook post into an ad because with, uh, in, with the example that Adrian last showed, uh, they were able to reach 4,000 people and that's great. The vast, vast majority of those people are not going to be clients of, of that agency currently and so it's getting the word out about the agency, showing what they're up to and showing how they're different from everybody else. Uh, but it is still within that, that network of original people that shared. So let's say everybody in the office shared that post. Then their friends are going to see that post. So that's how it grows virally. And then when their friends like it or share it, then their friends are going to see it. Uh, but it still is within that network. And it'd be great to be in front of those 4,000 people over and over again. And that is one strategy that, uh, that should, be, should be implemented. But what if you want to reach a whole new demographic set of people that might not be at all part of that, that other network. And that's where boosting um, really becomes effective because you can get in front of them where 
it doesn't matter how many times your your team shares a post you're likely not going to um, get in front of them so we want engagement we want people to actually like share and comment on the post because that's when it gets seen by other people because uh, even if you have let's say 500 um, likes on your on your page well when you when you post all 500 people are not going to see that post it's a it's a small percentage it's somewhere in between maybe two and twenty percent at the at the high end typically um, so Facebook is not going to show a business's post to everybody that likes the page there's just there's just too much other content out there and they want I think people to pay for these boosts um, but with the boost you can also inspire people to take further action and and maybe a year ago sounds like a long long time ago um, boosting was very limited as far as what you could do with it um, in comparison to what you could do within the Facebook ad platform uh, but it's getting more and more of that functionality so we can uh, actually get people to take that further action. So let's actually look at a live uh, Facebook page and we'll dive into the details of exactly how to boost that or one of those posts. All right, so I'm here at ProVest Insurance Agency. Jay Atkins is of course co-founder of Agency Marketing Machine. I'm scrolling down here and I pinned a post here to the top this is a post uh, where they were presenting the, the check to this NeuroFitness Foundation. Uh, that was one of their community causes. Um, and let's, for our objective on this boost, let's say it's to get engagement and get more awareness of ProVest Insurance Group. So we have a call to action here and it's, it's about getting the word out about this great organization that's, that's helping people with special neurological challenges. So we want people to like and share it in order to do that. So what I'm gonna do is just click on that little blue button. Uh, this is actually very recent. Facebook constantly changes the platform and some days you'll see something, the next day you won't and it could be a month later you'll, you'll see it again. Um, but they are, are constantly testing and, and adding things. Um, Messenger is something that's uh, um, getting more and more popular within Facebook and, and it's uh, becoming a really good way to stay in contact with uh, the people that are, are interacting with your, um, with your page. Uh, you do have to go into uh, administration to turn that on, but if you have somebody constantly monitoring your Facebook page or you get alerted to it, um, it is a great way to um, stay in touch with people. So don't worry about that uh, right now. You can just skip, by, skip past that and don't get, this is really a, a quick and easy way to, to promote your agency and your product. So don't get bogged down in too many of the details. Uh, what you do wanna do is, do you wanna do? You want to add a button. This is something new that they added to Boost. And if what you, if the action you want them to take coincides with, with uh, one of these buttons, then it's a good option to have. Now, the call to action that we have here on the post says like and share, show you care. Um, and that's great and that's gonna help spread the word virally. But also if they wanna learn more, why not take them back to the web page? Uh, that will, you can see there's a learn more button down there now, the web page will actually um, show them a little bit about what the agency did with the, with the foundation, about their community college program, how they'll donate on uh, someone's behalf if they recommend somebody else to the agency. So I'm just going to copy that and take it back to the post. And you could also link it back to your uh, agency uh, page for the, uh, whether it's with Allstate or with an, another carrier, you could definitely do that. It's better to take them to a page where they're gonna see something specifically about what they saw on Facebook. If you, for instance, if we here took them back to the homepage, it's not gonna be nearly as good. All right, now this is super important, the audience. I'm gonna click edit. Uh, 
sometimes you'll find that some types of actions are, are better suited uh, to either men or women. Uh, don't get, uh, don't get too crazy with that until you, you gain some experience with particular types of posts and in, in, in your geographic area and you find that, wow, 70% of people that liked and shared this post were women. So then that's great information to know the next time you want to boost a similar post, just target women because uh, the more minutely we can create our target audience while making sure the potential audience is still a decent size. And, and we'll get to that. I, I like to keep it about 200,000 people as a potential size. Um, the, the better if we can narrow down these things in here. So age 18, um, even though the, uh, yeah, if they're 18 year old, years old, they might like and share it. <clears throat> but I also want to make sure that I'm getting in front of the people that really are the source of my business for for my agency here, for this agency. So let's make it maybe 26 to 65 plus. If I was targeting homeowners insurance, for example, I might make this even a little bit, uh, the age a little bit higher. Okay, and then I get into locations. Yeah, I could target the entire state of North Carolina, but um, right now the potential audience is 5.7 million people. That's just, there's no need to keep it that big. Uh, we'll get the same results, even better results, if we're able to target people that are going to be closer to the office um, or uh, in my target group of potential customers. So let's narrow this down to Raleigh, North Carolina. A little map there is pretty cool. You can even just drop a pin and um, it will create a radius around that pin. All right, so let's see what 25 miles gets us. Sometimes it's too big, sometimes it's too small because right now I'm at 860,000 people. That's telling me that maybe I wanna, I wanna get this uh, a little bit a smaller a target of, uh, of people. So maybe I want to target parents. So I could go into demographics and look at parents and I could target all parents here, even by age. I can, how uh, how old their children are. So let's just say I wanted to target all parents. That's that's two hundred seventy thousand. That's that's really right in the sweet spot. Um, I you know could expand this a little. I could bring it down. But if for some reason I think this post might uh, really resonate with parents, then then that'd be great. Oh, uh, another really cool one is to target homeowners. So you can just start typing in here as well. Homeowners. All right. So here's an important thing. There's an interest homeowner and then there's homeowners demographics. The demographics, uh, that's coming from real data that people, uh, they, they get all the data in the background and they know, um, Who's a, who's a homeowner or not. And so that's really solid information. If somebody has an interest as a homeowner, that, that's not as solid information. They might just have, have posted something about a home in the past or like something. Um, so that's, that's not solid, these demographics are. Now the interest, that, that's, that's good stuff too. But here, um, if we're targeting homeowners, we want to make sure it's in the demographics. And here it's potential size of 570,000. You know what, maybe, maybe I want to even bring that down a little more, bring it closer to the office. So now at uh, 20 miles, we're at 550,000. And man, maybe I can take that all the way to 10 miles, 300,000. It's pretty good. It's close to the office. Um, and I'm targeting homeowners and they're over the age of what, 26. Sorry, so this is a this is a great audience. Now you can also, not in addition, but separately, you could have targeted people that like your page. Uh, but we're trying to get the word out about um, our services. And if I was maybe trying to cross sell something, get them to um, get them interested in a financial product, then I can definitely target people who like my page and then their friends as well. Because if, if, if my customers are going to recommend other people, which is one of the primary things um, we uh, have our, our clients do, um, 
this is going to get those people that they might recommend in the future already familiar with the agency. So that's um, a pretty cool thing to do, do as well, depending upon the objective there. All right, so now we're looking at the total budget, the duration. I recommend uh, a minimum of a seven day duration so you could get a, a real feel for uh, this, this promotion and, and how much interaction you're getting. $20 is, is something that very well might um, uh, give you a good look. So you could keep it at $20, um, might, might increase that, but, but you can see how things are going. And at the seven day mark, hey, you'll, you'll only have lost $20 if you get very low interaction. If you get some great interaction, you can just keep it going. So this isn't gonna disappear. Facebook will allow you to um, expand this duration and expand the budget. Of course, it's, it behooves them to do that. And then you're gonna to have to um, select a payment. Um, so if you already have an account, you can have your a credit card that is already uh, going to be charged and you would just select that one. If this is the first time you're doing it, you'll end up putting your credit card information in there just one time and it will keep it stored. And it doesn't charge it right away. Um, it, it varies, I think it might end up being once or, or twice a month and it just depends how much you're uh, spending and, and how active you are. All right, so we're, we're good to go here. I'm gonna go ahead and click boost. And I didn't uh, put in our, our payment information, so to make sure that I wanna, wanna do it there. And I'll actually go in just so we can get real results later. And we'll, uh, we'll boost it now. So it will put this in review. Uh, Facebook's been pretty good about allowing a uh, boost to go through. Sometimes they, they don't like it when there's a lot of text in, a, uh, in an image. Uh, but this one wouldn't be uh, wouldn't be too bad, and you close that out, and then we'll be able to see what kind of uh, results we get uh, from this in the next seven days, and, and either keep that going or um, try something else. So this one, this objective was to get engagement, and as just an added bonus, if people clicked on the learn more link, then they're going to go back to the website, learn a bit more about the agency, possibly take part and recommend other people. So this is, is a pretty cool little trick that not many people know about. So as you can see on the screen, we have very, very similar posts. The objective here was to get engagement interactions on the actual posts. One, people to hit the like button, people to hit the share button. So here's what you do with when that happens. So we got about, or actually 84 likes on the actual post and it reached over 8,000 people. But here's what you wanna do. You wanna convert those interactions into page likes. So it's so easy to do this. All you have to do is click, we see where the little arrow is, click on the names or the link of the people that like the post. You'll get an instant drop down. And what that drop down, as you can see on the right side of the screen, that's gonna have every single person's name to hit that like button, hit that love button on your post. And to invite them to like the page, all you have to do is hit that little invite button. Now, as soon as you do hit that button and you wanna set it or you wanna click it for every single person that it's available to, they're going to get an instant Facebook notification, you know, inviting them to like your page. All they have to do is press one button, boom, you have a new fan. But they're also going to get an email with the same information. So they can also use that platform to like your, your business page. So as you can see, we're able to generate 234 page likes uh, for this agency within just uh, one month. And that's just by using these, these strategies. And, you know, getting page likes isn't just about, hey, look at, look at our agency. We're so great. So many people like us. Uh, there is an actual use to it. Um, one is that the more people that like your page, the, the higher chance they're going to have of seeing your different posts without having to boost it and without somebody sharing it and then them seeing that share. Um, now, it's, it's, a, it's a smaller percentage it's not going to be every single one, a smaller percentage of the post, but still it's a, it's a chance. I'm saying you got a chance. 
And the, the other reason is, um, as we saw when we were boosting the post, you can actually target people directly that like your page and you can target directly their friends. And so that uh, can become really powerful depending upon what kind of offer you have and, and your ob objective of that uh, particular boost. All right, so let's talk about generating leads using Facebook. So for this uh, coaching session, we decided to focus on life insurance and also homeowners. So here is, is an example of a post set that we created for one of our clients. Uh, some things that you want to keep a focus on. Definitely always and forever upload photos into your posts. Always use images. Don't just link them. I know Facebook will automatically pull up an image. Don't go the lazy route. Upload it into the post because it will greatly in increase in your chances of, of interaction. Definitely less is more. People are not going to read you know, paragraphs and paragraphs of information. The ideal character count is 250 or less, and that's also going to help you get in front of more and more individuals. Now, you notice that we are giving away the, the new iPhone. So actually, this is something that we're uh, making available to, to Michael and Terry's um, customers and, and prospects. And what we've done is we're using that as a way, as an incentive for them to participate in what we've created. It's called a life insurance calculator. So this thing is, is really neat. You can create it for free using uh, jobform.com, as you can see on the bottom right, free service. But what this thing is gonna do is people can choose the kind of phone that they wish to you know, receive, should they be the winner. And then what they're gonna do is start filling in or start typing or playing with the calculator. So in about two minutes, they're gonna be asked a few questions such as, you know, their income, their assets, uh, debt, children, tuition. And at the end of that calculator, they're going to get a dollar amount estimate on the amount of, of coverage that they should have based on what they've submitted. Yeah, and, and we can actually take them directly from this Facebook post uh, and ask them if they like a life insurance quote and get some of their high level information in order to get that drawing. Uh, we've tested it out and, and we actually prefer sending them that life insurance calculator because the agency actually gets all of that data about all of the entrants and that becomes really, really valuable. Even the people that don't end up uh, requesting a life insurance quote because we make that, uh, make that an option. Uh, here, we're just asking them to test out that life insurance calculator. And, and the agency, Michael and Terry agency, is not purchasing this, this phone um, um, on their on their own, we actually uh, pool a few of our uh, clients together any given month for a particular uh, promotion, and then uh, he would have a chance at his agency being selected as the one who selects uh, randomly the the entry winner. So that's how that works, and, and you do have to have something of, of really high value uh, we we found, or else you don't get uh, too much interaction. Uh, if you have something locally like tickets uh, to an event, make sure you take a photo of the tickets so people can see, okay, they're, they're real tickets. So somebody's, somebody's got to win those, hopefully, um, because when you boost, remember, you're going to people that don't necessarily know anything about your agency, and they're going to be much more likely to take part if, they, if it looks real. So with the SOL, well, yeah, the targeting on this, um, the age range for life insurance probably wouldn't be somebody in their in their 20s. Um, the location, we had to expand it out a little bit because Fort Collins was a smaller population than the uh, Raleigh-Durham area. Um, but for the demographics and interest, parents, homeowners, those are, are great to be able to um, uh, place into your targeting. Um, on this promotion, we didn't even do that because it would have taken this potential audience size uh, down just way too low. And we like to stay in that 200,000 to 400,000 range primarily. So for the budget, um, as we talked about, we want to start it 
start it at about a week and see what that that does for you. So this is something that's that's really neat because if if you don't have your own website, you can still take advantage of the job form and uh, the calculator tool because job form will actually allow you to add that that form right there on your Facebook page. So you can still create the same post, just the link is gonna be a little bit different and you're gonna keep people right on, on your Facebook page, which is always nice. And then also they can continue to move forward and you know test, test, test this thing out. But um, it's really cool, the kind of information that you're able to, to generate from the calculators. And we have an example, so we just, we launched this, this promotion, what was it, maybe? The, the third, the, the third, third here, yep. And um, at a limited budget, but you can see that here's some of the real entries and how much uh, they're, they're currently paying in debt, and we blacked out the names here, um, but here's how much the calculation came, how much life insurance they might actually need, and three out of the six selected yes that they want a life insurance quote. So uh, I think they, the, they ended up spending or we spent $100 on this promotion and that got three uh, life insurance quote requests. But not only that, we probably, we'd want to reach out to these people uh, that, that didn't request one if, if it looks like they needed it um, at some point in the future. And, um, and it's just a, a it's great if you if they are your customers to have this information because quite often we don't have this information about our customers, um, and you know really these results pale in comparison to what we'd get with an email that went out. We did send an email um, uh, about this uh, same type of promotion to the uh, the agency customers and everybody in their database, and that got 140 entries and 42 quote requests and that was in within a 30-day window and you can send out a bulk email at no charge so although this would likely pay off at a hundred dollars it, it depending upon where, where you're at that month and, and if you need the financials um but why not take advantage of every avenue that you have and email is not dead email is still uh, very very effective Alrighty, so let's talk about that homeowner's insurance lead. So we, we created something uh, very, very, very similar to, to life insurance uh, lead you know, post that you just saw a few moments ago. Uh, now we're targeting, of course, homeowners. So as you can see, copy, short and sweet, to the point, we're able to reach uh, 169 people. And yeah, we've got an example, or show that right here, here's, Here's the website uh, that we embedded the form on. And as you can see here, you can, you can have the form, you can create the form to do anything you want, like fancy calculations, um, or you can have it um, have a window where you can like and even share the Facebook page directly from this form. They never have to leave it. And we like to, if, if we're not giving away tickets or, or something like that, uh, that, that's concrete, we like to really intrigue people on these promotions to um, select so they can visualize what color iPhone 8 they would get if they were to win this. So that's gonna make them take the next step or even more likely to take the next step. So we'd make that selection, fill out the information uh, so that we can give them a homeowner's insurance comparison quote. So we just, we just did this last night, basically yesterday, uh, late afternoon, I think. So it cost $7 and 54 cents. We only reached 169 people. Uh, so it was not a big reach whatsoever, uh, but there was one quote request from it. So I don't know, you know, $7 and 54 cents per really, really solid lead is uh, I think pretty good. Um, especially because you can see here, uh, we got their name, email address, phone number, and address. So they took the time to do that. And on the thank you page, they saw the, the winner from the last month's iPhone who had this iPhone in his hand. So it just uh, lends credibility and um, let them know that 
somebody from the agency would be getting in touch with them really quickly to provide him a homeowner's insurance quote. So we're going to let this promo roll for, uh, for a while and, and see how much it can end up generating. Okay, so if we're spending money driving people to a, a website or to click on a link in Facebook. Um, we want to make the most of that money. It's, it's really hard to get that ROI when you're talking about spending money on advertisements like these. So if, if we can get in front of those same people that clicked on that link or interacted with our post over and over and over again, that's, that's extremely powerful. So let's take a look at uh, something that we do. And there's, there's uh, Facebook retargeting, but then there's also website retargeting. So uh, for example, if there's clients or prospects, either one, once they access your web page um, or with Facebook retargeting, once they interact with that um, with with Facebook and, and go to your and go to your website or go to another page, um, it cookies them. So it like you've got tons and tons of cookies on your computer right now, and unless you just cleared the cache or cleared the browsing history. Uh, but those cookies are letting advertisers, it's letting um, other companies know um, who you are, but it does it in a way that is, is uh, not putting a name and a face on you. It's just basically allowing the um, aggregation of all of this backend data about the, the type of person you are and the buying habits, um, but it's um, definitely being gathered every minute of every day and there's a, there's a scary amount of information that we uh, can target about uh, people. But when we go to, when somebody goes to your website, the majority of them aren't going to end up filling out a form or taking the action that we want them to take right that minute. But why not stay in front of them so that when they later on go to other websites like CNN, like Zillow, USA Today, hundreds of thousands potentially of other sites or they're in their Yahoo email, they're going to see ads for your agency. And it's going to reinforce to them or remind them that, oh yeah, maybe now I'll take action. Maybe now I will have a chance. I'll, I'll make a call and get that life insurance quote or the homeowner's insurance quote. Um, or maybe it just reinforces things that your agency is doing that separates you, that you maybe you care about the community. And these, we took these screenshots because we see our clients um, ads all over the place. So there's one about, uh, about bundling. So if I'm a current customer, well, I'm going to be reinforced over and over again because that, oh, I don't have my home with a uh, Vanderbeck agency. Man, I, I better because I have my auto with them. Why not have my home with them as well? Here's another one. And you also with, you know, life insurance, if, if they've we're targeting life insurance or homeowners insurance, they're going to see ads about those things as well. So uh, we want that reinforcement to happen and they do end up getting quite a few clicks. Um, and this is the way that you can get in front of somebody that seven, eight, nine times it takes in order to eventually sell them something. Yeah. And that's actually something that's, that's really cool. So as, as these people are on, you know, all these different websites uh, and they decide to, you know, click on that ad, they're interactive. So it is going to direct them to a special page, you know, on your site specifically for that policy or that tool or you know, that promotion. Yeah. So we do advise if you're going to be spending uh, quite a bit or a decent sized budget on Facebook advertising, that you do take advantage of retargeting. Um, it's something that we now, we think it's so powerful that it's now um, included in the standard packages that we, that we offer to new uh, customers coming on board and our customers, our current customers, um, AMM clients can take advantage of it uh, as well. Um, and then if you're going to have a significant Facebook advertising budget, then let's say $250 to dollars to um, thousands of dollars or more, which some people do on a monthly basis, and you know that's gonna be recurring over and over again, um, you should look into the Facebook advertising platform or having a company um, handle that for you. Like I said, it, it's a bit of a bear. Uh, so don't dive into that uh, unless you're planning on spending 
uh, a lot of money because boosting is sends up you can you can get m many of the same results um and it just takes much less time but uh there's there is more flexibility within the ad platform so i think that's it Andrew. yeah so i mean just one really last thing i wanted to leave off with you know facebook is is definitely a really a really powerful platform to utilize it's it's extremely effective but relying solely on on facebook alone is it's not going to get you the uh, the results that, that I believe you're looking for. And that is the reason why our program in general contains so many components, you know, referral tools for, for increased referrals from customers, you know, how to partner up with uh, local mortgage brokers, loan officers, realtors, and, you know, add them to your referral network, how to, you know, create your own brand and get in front of more and more people. So if, if anybody's interested at all, uh, feel free. Uh, I will be able to give you a tour of the program and just literally just show you how it works and, and what it includes. All right. So we'll be sending along an email with a few how-to guides and a recording of, uh, of this webinar. And we thank you for joining. Have a great day. Have a good one. Oh, wait, we do see that there's a couple questions. So if you haven't jumped off yet, we can get to those. All right. So Yvette's on. All right. I did a post, boost the other day, which is three days, and I had 253 organic reach and 607 paid reach. So that was neat to see. And it was about $5 uh, a day that you spent. So five bucks a day, $35 um, a week, that would be. And um, yeah, so that's a good, uh, you bet you extended your, extended your reach there. So the 253 organic reach is, is pretty good. And uh, just get everybody, you know, to, uh, to like and share it. So uh, you, can, you can really far exceed um, even that and you don't have to spend that 50 or that uh, $15 even. Um, but uh, hopefully they did interact and um, your go back through and the people that did like the page, make sure that, or like the post, make sure you go back and invite them to like your page so that they have a good chance of seeing your, your post without um, having to pay it. Well, actually that uh, is, is one of my, the agencies I work with. So I'll just go ahead and I'll do that for her. All right. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Thanks Yvette.